Chris Ettig. Please introduce yourself and who you represent. My name is Chris Attig. I'm a father in Arkansas. I'm a lawyer in California. Before I speak to the committee, I would like to address the transgender youth of the state of Arkansas as a real father does, a real father of a transgender child. No matter what happens here today, no matter what happens here today, you are loved. You are loved. No matter what happens today, we will prevail over this injustice. I come here today knowing full well that nothing I say will persuade this committee. You're hell-bent on passing this bill and running it through the rest of the legislature. You know that this bill is unconstitutional and will not survive federal courts. The Supreme Court has already found that transgender Americans are protected from discrimination. Justice Neil Gorsuch, joined by five Supreme Court justices who still sit on the court, that's six, that's a majority, wrote that it's impossible to discriminate against a person for being transgender without discriminating based on sex. And discrimination based on sex violates our U.S. Constitution. You know this bill will further stagnate our state's economy. Diversity and inclusion are good for business. Discrimination imposes enormous productivity costs and exerts undue burdens. No economy in the history of the world has flourished under policies of hatred. Business will leave this state. New business will not come to this state. Remember North Carolina? As a business owner who pays tens of thousands of dollars in taxes to this state and who employs transgender workers, I am offended that you would squander our limited taxpayer resources paying lawyers to defend this infantile nonsense in federal court. Many of you claim to live according to the Bible and your Christian religion. So you have certainly read Romans 16.33 in which Paul asks, who knows the mind seconds. of the Lord? Those of you who would pass this bill into the full house claim to know the mind of God. There are more genders than you are aware of. There are more biological sex than you are aware of. You do not know the mind of God. I sit before you as a father. Your time is Every up. Every constituent who votes or who will vote Your time is a parent or a child. Every person affected by this bill. Your time is up. Would you, would you move him from one table? You had two minutes, like everyone else, your time is up, sir. Thank you for your comments. Would you get Carmen Grisham? Carmen Grisham from the waiting room. <laughs> 